music journal. I listen to so much stuff about consciousness, health, energy, for years and years and years and years, every day. Um, sometimes in my life I can listen to it for hours a day, other times it's intermittent, you know, um, during my weekend or my days off when I'm journaling or whatever. Um, I've had many times of my life where, like right now I'm commuting, so I listen to s information both directions. So I get about, I don't know, two hours a day of listening to things. When I used to work um, where I cut fruit, I could listen to things for like six hours of my day. When I worked at a parking lot, I got to listen to things while I was commuting and then also while I was working. So it was like, again, like eight hours a day of listening to all the information that made sense to me related to how can I be better? How can I feel better? How can I understand my life differently so that I can somehow create a different existence for myself? Never realizing that I always was and I already have and I've arrived. Um, today I got to have a pretty special day on a sensory level, like a tangible like for my own self recognizing like I jumped into like a slightly different timeline than what I've been living you know um, and for me it's not some sort of crazy woo woo thing I don't like using the word crazy um, what I mean is woo woo like oh I literally physically tapped into a whole new galaxy it's, it's, it's not like that it's like I have so many versions inside me we're all Meredith and I can tap into all these different sensory experiences to create a whole new hologram in front of me based off of how I'm going to piece all of that together. And today I felt physically different, like interacting with conversations, moments, things were like, it was like this out of body experience watching myself like play out the same outcomes, but genuinely, tangibly, they were very different. And it was nice. And uh, the big aha moment I had today is I've been living a sober lifestyle for quite some time now, like a year and year and year and a few months. Uh, and I had I've been not feeling well and getting congested and uh, I needed to get some sleep so I took some NyQuil. It didn't even cross my mind what is in NyQuil. I just wanted to fall asleep and I've had a shitty day the last like two days. Like terrible. Like and I couldn't really like figure it out but just like so irritable. Like my point being is I tapped into a sensory version of myself that Hmm, you know what? I'm not even really ready to talk about it because I think of my hindsight related to my active addictions very differently, like right now with who I am. So I can't really talk about it in a second. But um, today I didn't have any NyQuil in my body and huh, the contrast of that moment it was more than just not that I didn't have it in my system. It was like this hyper awareness of physically, tangibly not. Okay. I'm going to say one last thing. I'm going to digress. If my thoughts were like a piano, how you can strum a key and it vibrates, the key vibrates and it can make the other things next to it vibrate too. It's like that. It's like, certain certain uh, things can tap into other vibrations and I suppose man I don't even know how to talk about it you know what I'm just gonna stop talking because if anybody's paying attention to this another thing I like to express in my video journals to be helpful is this the uh, stream of consciousness thought pattern and how I feel like I go into a whole bunch of different places but it's really difficult for me to succinctly express one point of view but yet I'm saying everything all at once you know what I love I love people that can um take everything I'm saying and say it in like one sentence I'm like that's what I meant 
that's not my journey. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut up. Timelines. I jumped into a new one today and it was a nice day.